Hi, it's Miranda, and we're going to play a game with a content warning. This game contains depictions of self-mutilation. Some conversations mention abuse and PTSD. Nudity. I can't go back to live a normal life until I go through this. Please come home. Did you start the tape recorder? This is gonna get weird. No matter what you hear, please stay put. If anything were to happen to me, this transmission will serve as a testimony. This skeleton inside of me isn't mine. I'm in the process of investigating what's going on. Yes, I tried discarding the idea at first. However, once you're convinced of something like this, an absolute horror gets a hold of you. Picture being inhabited by a stranger. You can't just go about attending school after the realization. The best course of action is to steal an x-ray machine and escape to the country to peek into your own body. Are you still with me? Please come home. Eleven forty five, a vivid life. All right, I set up camp. I'll keep you posted of my advances through the radio. I brought a med kit in case the x-ray shows some strange body under my skin. And don't worry, I know my ways around a scalpel. Laney here. Gonna keep investigating. Out. Focus, Laney. First locate, then extract. We promise to stop digging randomly in our flesh. There doesn't seem to be anything else. Anything else I can click on, except for an x-ray machine. Here's the nudity. It's a crystal eye. I could gouge it out and examine it closely. Two things. These teeth are artificial. I should take a closer look at them. I brought some pliers with me. Some of the skeleton cervical discs have been replaced. Takes me back to the day Johan pushed me out of the window. Whoever built the skeleton did an imperfect job, or this brings vague memories of being buried. Push me out the window. That day, I couldn't take it anymore. I was trying to escape when he... Ah. Uh. Same thing on the neck. Nothing there. Nothing here. I'm just gonna do the whole body. Because apparently that's what we're doing. We just this. There's a weird substance in my stomach. It reacts to x-rays. What could it be? I can try to make myself throw up. Nothing.
It's a fracture. I can't feel any pain, but looks like it healed badly. Mm, I have vague memories of a skateboarding accident. Makes sense this is the arm I always use to protect myself. The fracture presents geometric shapes. Look there. I always try to protect my head at any cost. My arms took the worst part whenever Johan lost it. Johan's a piece of crap. Looks like an electronic device. I don't like the idea of keeping that inside of me. Some small round object. What is it doing inside of me? I better extract it and get a closer look. You're saying to yourself, what the... Those didn't... other things didn't flash. Ugh. My feet are sized very differently. They're like two shoe sizes apart. They're so different. These bones may come from a different humans. Whoever put the skeleton inside of me isn't familiar with the human body or learnt in class. We humans aren't symmetrical. This is not conclusive. That's... I always hated my feet. Especially when I have to buy two pairs of sneakers... two pairs especially when I have to buy two pairs of sneakers to get a single pair that fit my own feet. I think I got everything. Oh boy. Look at all this. <laughs> okay, deep breaths. I'm just gonna do this first. I hope it doesn't smell much. Ugh, the taste is awful. Uh, what was this doing inside my stomach? Looks like coagulated blood and pus. The smell is terrible. I recognize this. It's plastic explosive. Or I can notice stuff moving inside. This mess feels otherworldly. I'm going to say the first one. This is not the first time I've seen this, though. I have an unhealable wound inside from when my belly was pierced. Pierced with what? That disappeared. Yuck. <sighs> it's all awful, but let's pull the teeth out. Ah, uh, this is gonna hurt. I should have stolen a bottle of vodka when I was at it. Yeah, that'll do it. Now my mouth feels all weird. In addition to not being mine, I guess. Hmm. These teeth almost look and feel like the real thing. I almost died the day Johan beat me with a frying pan. Oh. Reminds me of how they push child soldiers beside the border. Oh my god. Not like it all. These may come from different people. But that was the last time he hit me. Thank god. Okay, deep breaths. Uh, let's remove this baby. Looks like a microchip. It's blinking. This is a citizenship we all have installed at birth. This device doesn't look like human technology. Or is it a tracking device? Someone's watching my movements. Oh, the thunder just like punctuated that for me. I'm going to put this one because it seems like that's... I'm glad I took it out. Fuck the system. Alright. 
Okay, deep breaths. I've never cut so deep into my thigh. Here goes nothing. Disinfect. Er, it's a bullet. I had a bullet inside of my thigh. Now I remember Johan's games with his gun. This is a special caliber used by Russian agents. The wound is so old, was I shot as a kid? Okay, now I'm not sure if this is about Johan or something before Johan. I'm gonna click this one just because. I don't have any memories of this, but I do recall a smell. It's making me want to cry. Okay, deep breaths. We have to, but I'm guessing we do. Okay. I out. Let's take a quick look and put it back. Oh, you can put it right back. Okay, it's just a, it's just a crystal eye. I can feel the cold air inside my skull. It's really unpleasant. I don't think that's... I can feel life pulsating inside of it. Hmm, there's a code number behind this, and this is the price I paid for my stupidity. The code number behind it is probably like a serial number. I'm gonna see what she says here. I lost this eye during archery practice. Schools should do a maturity test before accepting archery students. That's it? Focus Lini, first locate, then extract. We promise to stop digging. Okay. Oh. Laney here. I did never tell you about how I lost my eye, did I? In one of my early life crises, I joined an archery club to try and make some friends. Why archery? Ah, uh, you see, I'm a bitch for fantasy novels and archers are usually among my favorite characters. I guess you already know where this is going to go, right? Short story, we recreated William Tell's infamous scene and I was the one with the apple on the head. I... I'm so sorry. Please, come home. I removed my citizenship microchip. We all forget their existence until we steal an x-ray machine and peek inside our hand, huh? Why can religion be a choice but you get pierced after birth with an intrusive control device? How ethical is it to force a human being into a system? Oh yeah, but crime is so low and bureaucracy is so agile now. Please, come home. Don't worry, they'll put me a new one back after they arrest me. In. Lady here, my feet. My feet definitely can't be mine. They're so gross. I always end up getting hurt because I buy the bigger size of a pair of shoes and fill one of them with paper to fit my smaller foot. It's not only that having to buy two pairs is expensive. I look ridiculous. Please, come home. These feet, I reject them. They're not mine. You'd expect someone to first get violent and then break into crying once out of the trance. But Johan would do the crying first. He'd start weeping and sobbing, whispering, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At some point, it is turned into howling and start chasing me. The depth of his cry, you can't run from it. So I just curl wherever I was and he'd kneel and hit me and hit me and hit me. I had to cover my head with this arm. I don't think there was one specific day it broke. Johan just chipped my bones away. Please come home. My arm's not broken, it's spent. <laughs> That day Johan's screams didn't paralyze me. It was worse. They haunted my legs. My skeleton would start running towards the window, not willing to endure another of Johan's beatings. In case you don't know, when your skeleton decides to override the instructions from your muscles, you just turn into a puppet. So my bones jumped out of the window. I fell on top of a car, but it wasn't then that the spine was damaged. It was the typewriter Johan threw out of the window that crushed my back. 
That's how I got the cervical disc replacements. Please come home. Silver lining is the skeleton never overtook control again. Ooh. Johan was frying some eggs and bacon. He was going through a great phase, months without getting violent. Finally, a medication that worked. I caressed his back out of joy and support. The bacon cracked on the pan and a burning drop of oil hit his eye. He pushed me back and hit me with the pan in the face. At that moment, I didn't notice. I just lost three teeth. I fell on the kitchen floor and he started beating me with the burning pan. They had to remove bits of the swimsuit I was wearing from my burnt skin. My back still keeps some dre dreadful marks from the hot oil. Please come home if that's him. I ran away after I left the hospital, never seen Johan, Johan again. Good. I hope that's not him. Let me hear. I know memories from when we were kids are supposed to be nebulous, confusing, but I feel there's something in my head blocking them. Images don't get to me. But the sounds do. The smells do. Especially the smells. Yes. The wound in my thigh is so old, the scar deformed by growth. I was shot as a kid, and this bullet has been somehow living inside of me for years. It smells like burnt flesh and rubble. The smell of high-pitched screams. Please, come home. These bones ache. You've been through some stuff, Lainey. I've been vomiting blood and pus from time to time since I have memory. The doctor said this was untreatable, that it'd heal as I grow. I don't remember the visit, though. It's just what I've always been told. Not that I cared much, because this has always been with me. It doesn't happen often, maybe six or seven times a year. It's not good. If I stare long enough at this gross puddle, my ears start ringing, vision goes numb, and the taste of rotten blood evokes some old trauma of... of something piercing my stomach, laying the ground, black clouds over purple clouds, being wrapped in a blanket by some people in uniforms. Please... Come home. Is there nothing else to click on? Laney here. I think I solved the mystery. I've dug enough around my body for a life. So far, all of what I found points towards a clear conclusion. Accepted. This is my skeleton. My skeleton pertains to Johan. Is this... Is trauma... So, is she saying, I'm taking back my body? Or is this, it belongs to him? Because if that's the case, I must accept it. This is my skeleton. Are you still there? I, I finished my investigation. I hope that's what that means. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm not well. I need help. This skeleton is mine after all. It doesn't matter how many stories I make up to justify every tiny imperfection. This is my body. But I have trouble accepting that. I don't like myself. I don't think I will ever be able to like myself. I went and stole an x-ray machine from the hospital to avoid facing my low self-esteem. You're probably thinking I lost it. Now I see how delusional this all seems. And there's no telling when I'll lose touch with reality again. I don't trust myself anymore. Come and pick me up, please. Please, take me home. Please, come home. Person? Huh. 
If you have any opinions on that, please let me know in the comments. And, um, that was 11.45, A Vivid Life. Bye.